morning everybody it is a saturday and it is the saturday before christmas so i thought i would just share a weekend day in the life it is about 8 30 here blaze went off to work since he um, is a independent seller on amazon and he had to merchant fulfill some products so he'll be back in about an hour though um, we had scrambled eggs for breakfast they're already cleaned up and then i am going to saute some of these mushrooms because i bought couple containers at Aldi yesterday um, just because it's nice to have because we have them every day for breakfast and then I'm just gonna clean up a few more of the dishes that I couldn't fit in the dishwasher and kind of just bring you along with our relatively casual relaxing day so hope you enjoy coming along with us on this Saturday So I'm going to burn a beeswax candle I made, if I can get this, um, in my last video actually. Super simple DIY. This jar had some um, something given to us in it, so it's just a repurposed amber jar. And then we're going to go clean up, come on, some spots on the wall. The little miss wanted to do a few crayons, I don't know if you can see, not real well, I tried to get it, but... I just got these um, these magic erasers at Aldi for two. They're a dollar ninety five. Dollar Tree has two for a dollar, but oh yeah, it does really work. So I have heard that that crayon really works, or to get crayon off, it really works to use the magic eraser. Are you trying to follow me with it? Yeah. So it does. I will give you that. It definitely works. All right. I also had some on this furniture, a blue. We'll see if that comes off. This was from over a week ago, so we'll try. If not, that's why we get thrifted furniture, like this set, <laughs> this love seat set, and then, well, the couch with it, which needs some extra help on that cushion, was only $100, and it also had an ottoman, but the ottoman was kind of gross. But, you know, we've had this for four years, which is held up really well. The magic eraser also works well on a glass top stove, but I also am going to use some, um, oh, I'll show you. It's for like a bar top. It was, it's really cheap. It's like 95 cents at Walmart because it's still, this ring has been here for a while, but I do can on glass top and you're not typically supposed to, but just wanted to tell you that magic eraser works on me. Alright, lunch today for Nevea is leftover spaghetti. I had some deer I used to make a chili and spaghetti, and I have another leftover as well that I'll probably have. Um, by the way, these corral plates are awesome for little kids because they are like unbreakable. So that's what she's having, and um, Blaze and I will probably have something else. Okay, it's about 12.15. Nevea was literally falling asleep in her high chair while eating lunch. So she finished up, had a few vegetables, and like a bite of a mandarin orange, like a little slice. So um, she is down for a nap already. So I'm going to prep for supper. Um, we're having a potato soup from the Pioneer Woman. I'll link it in the description box. We've had it before. It's very good. I just have some potatoes that are getting some eyes on them that I really need to use up. And then I have some bacon in the freezer I'll pull out and fry up as well. But um, one more thing I want to mention that I'm doing with Nevea that has been pretty time consuming is potty training. So um, in the past week or so, I've been taking her like every 15-20 minutes. She's had ups and downs, but she is 20 months old. A goal of mine was to have her 
trained before the next baby comes here at the end of May. So really, I'm thinking I'm doing decently well. It's been hard some days. Um, I get frustrated when it's in her pool all the time, but so um, yeah, anyways, those of you who have been potty training before, oh, husband's about, you understand what I'm going through. So I'm gonna prep the lunch while she's napping and husband will probably eat some leftovers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, my vegetables are prepped. It's really nice just to put them in container. Potatoes, I don't always like to chop early, especially when they're peeled, but I just covered it in water and then I'll have to pat them dry when I cook it later. So it's just nice to pull them out of the fridge and throw them in my pot. Okay, peanut butter balls are in their form. I'm gonna refrigerate them while I melt some chocolate almond bark to put over the top of them. Okay, my peanut butter balls are done. I did not get near as many as they recommend. Probably because I made them a little big and one's a little peaked looking here, but please will eat that right away, I'm sure. Um, I also made enough to hopefully take back to my family's Christmas here in um, like three or four days. Um, also, I was catching up on some YouTubers from House and Boone and then I just watched Hillary at Old World Home catching up on some of her vlogmases. I love watching them. Got some mail. I got a shirt for one of my nieces from eBay because hopefully she doesn't watch this before Christmas, but um, she likes the Vikings and my goodness, like on Amazon, any other department store, they're really expensive. So I think she'll like that. At a thrift store yesterday for our neighbor, she loves Santa stuff. Um, everything was 50% off too for Christmas. These little Santa plates. And then, yeah, she collects like little vintage Santas. Got this little Santa guy. So I already gave them a goodies um, plate that I had made last week for our neighbors. Okay, so I have some gifts I want to wrap, and it might not be till later tonight, but I'll just share a few with you. Um, Nevaeh is still sleeping, and it's been an hour 45, so I'm going to take advantage of this time. Um, these are just a random bag of Duplo Legos that I got off Facebook Marketplace for um, one of my nieces. I had another set for my other niece, and um, they don't care if they're used because they are super expensive, I realized if you get them brand new. So honestly, just a random giant bag of Duplo Legos. And then my husband couldn't sell a bunch of these Play-Dohs because they were supposedly damaged. So I'm giving one to each family because I have eight different nieces. Um, you saw a few of these little like coloring books and stuff like that from one of my last thrift hauls. My dad, for him, I just got these deluxe mixed nuts with sea salt from Aldi along with something he had asked for. It's not in there. Must be in a different box, but it's just a pair of work gloves. So, oh, there they are. So just ordered those off of Amazon. The reviews were really good. So I thought I would do that for him. And then for my husband, he's out working on our little house right now. So, um, these are gun shells I'm gonna wrap and then some cream chocolate that he really likes from Aldi. But the gun shells, because I bought him um, a gun safe, ordered it off of Walmart. I'll let you know if it really is any good. We're opening gifts tomorrow actually as a family here um, because he has a lot of hunting guns, but I just thought it'd be fun to have him have that. I'm not gonna wrap that because I can't even lift it. It's too heavy. I had a friend bring it in when we were gone. Um, and so 
place that doesn't even have a clue what it is. So I'm excited to give that to him. I think he'll be excited for it. And then I already have wrapped several of Nevaeh's gifts. I just got her little book. And then, oh shoot, what else? I'll have to think through what else I got her because I wrapped them um, quite a while ago. I did get some presents wrapped. I know one of you said no presents under the tree, but no, we have plenty of presents under the tree. It just was literally like the next day I started wrapping presents for family, for my little one, um, some friends. Yeah, so for my immediate family, we're just doing, the adults are doing like a gift exchange with one person like a secret santa so then we have like a 30 to 50 dollar limit to spend but then we get our parents gifts and then all the nieces as well but just fun to find some gifts it's another beautiful day here and we walked over to nevaeh's actually old daycare lady she closed and bought a few of her things so a couple pogo sticks Lots of nice books and a couple puzzles. So it was a nice little find all for $18. So we're just enjoying the beautiful day of like low 40s. Yeah, it's strange for South Dakota to not have snow. I'm a little envious of the New England states getting snow right now, but you know, being able to walk outside still, it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna share with you what I got from the lady who was closing her daycare. This puzzle was free because it's missing this dress and those shoes. And then I think this one was $2. Um, and then these are fun, she said. It's a Thomas and Friends. I don't know if I'll give it to somebody or keep it for Nevaeh when she's older, but it has the like little train pieces and like little cardboard map thing so really fun that was three this book all hardcover were a dollar but this was free because some of it's ripped but i thought that would be fun for her and then i love this book i used to read it when i taught to my kids um because it's kind of about music this one might be a fun gift for a friend this is a really cute little book i looked through them all and then My Little People Farm. And then Nevaeh's looking at one right now on My Little People book as well. And then I got the two pogo sticks for $10. So $18 for all of that. And um, some, of, excuse me, some of them will go to some nieces and some other kids because we need to purge some of our toys. I'm kind of on the minimal side of toys. I don't like a lot for her, but she's having fun looking at this one. Supper is done, lots of leftovers, but it was really good. Added lots of bacon and cheese. Not super healthy, but very delicious. So I think I'm gonna call it a night. Everything's cleaned up, kitchen cleaned, got my beeswax candle going again. Have my red raspberry leaf tea for pregnancy. I'm gonna wrap some gifts while Blaze and I probably watch something where he's playing online Catan too. But hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun coming along with us today. 
and hope you're gonna have a wonderful and blessed Christmas season as well. All right, bye.